There's a reason why I don't normally talk much about Trump. I know I have a lot of Trump supporters as subscribers. There's a lot of Trump supporters in the comments. And uh, every time I say something bad about Trump, I get all the, oh, that's just fake news. You're just watching mainstream media. Even if I've gotten the information from Trump's tweets themselves, even if I'm quoting Trump directly, oh, it, it's mainstream media. I'm, I'm, I'm succumbing to mainstream media. No, I'm just looking at what Trump says and does. There's this notion that I'm supposed to be civil towards Trump, that I should be respectful towards Trump, that I should be nice towards Trump. Trump certainly isn't nice to anyone else in, except his loyal base. He's not respectful. He's not civil. I'm supposed to be civil and respectful to someone who isn't civil and respectful to anyone else? Sorry. You know, I do talk about how it'd be nice if we were nicer to each other, sure. But when someone just generally treats people like shit, doesn't give a shit about half the country, there's no reason why I should be civil and respectful towards that person. And then when, you know, when it comes to Trump's record on the coronavirus, I mean, he knew about the coronavirus and how bad it is by the end of January. But he decided to lie to the whole country. Oh, it'll just go away when we have warmer weather. Oh, well, maybe you can uh, take this disinfectant and inject it into the body or something, right? Um, how about how he claims that, oh, we, uh, the numbers will be much better if we did less testing. Oh, I'm not concerned at all. Respirators, ventilators, all the equipment, get it yourselves. It is what it is. How about how he downplayed the use of masks? How about his huge rallies where hardly anyone is wearing a mask? Yeah, yeah, let's have huge gatherings. I mean, now don't get me wrong, you know, I, I think it's ridiculous how mainstream media and even this, what, 1,200 doctors signed this uh, letter that basically says that racism is more of a, a pandemic than the coronavirus. You know, mainstream media pushing that, oh no, uh, all these people protesting, it's, that's not uh, spreading a coronavirus. Yeah, th there's been some ridiculous things being said by the media, absolutely. But that doesn't change the fact that Trump knows how bad the coronavirus is, and yet he still chooses to have these rallies. He could hold internet rallies, and he'd have a lot of supporters. How about how Trump makes fun of Biden? for wearing a mask, for playing it safe. But, you know, when Trump gets the coronavirus, we're all supposed to be just so respectful. Oh, you need to respect our president. No, no, I don't. I don't need to be respectful to the president. I don't need to be civil towards Trump. No, no, I don't. Now, I hope that he recovers. I hope that he doesn't die. At least most of me hopes that he that he doesn't die. There's a little part of me that hates Trump so much that yeah, yeah, I, 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 you know, part of me wishes bad things to happen to him, but I try to push that part of me back. But you know, with with Trump and the coronavirus, karma's a bitch. So yeah, there there's a bit of a Schadenfreude going on. Of course, you know, some of you just can't accept how awful a person Trump is. I mean, he's a con man. We have a reality TV star as president. Someone who has bankrupted tons of his businesses. To many Trump supporters, Trump can do no wrong. Trump was being honest when he said he could shoot someone on Fifth Avenue and uh, people would still support him. That's true. That's also how much some people on the right hate the left. You're willing to support anything as long as it gives the left less power. So don't preach to me about being civil and respectful to Trump. He doesn't deserve it. Again, he's not civil or respectful to anyone but his loyal base. So let me reiterate again, okay? I don't wish 
bad things to happen to him, at least not most of me. You know, I hope he recovers. I hope he doesn't die. I mean, another aspect to that is, you know, if he died, we'd be stuck with Pence. Then we'd really have something to worry about when it comes to policy. I sure don't want a religious zealot running the country. At the same time, at least, at least Pence would be a bit more respectful to most of the country. But do I hate Trump? Yeah, yeah, I do. Has Trump done some good things in policy? Yeah, he has. He has done some good things. You just, you just look up online his accomplishments. Okay, he has done some good things. And up until, up until the coronavirus, you know, his policies were helping the economy quite a bit. But he certainly doesn't care about poor people. He doesn't care about old people. He certainly doesn't care about LGBT, especially not trans people. Oh, but he wanted to decriminalize homosexuality in Middle Eastern countries. It's a bunch of virtue signaling. You think he has the power to do that? <laughs> but, but he held up a flag when he was campaigning. Look, it said LGBT for Trump written in messy permanent marker. Yeah, he holds up anyone who holds him up. If they support him, he'll support them. Because that's all he cares about. Like, he's a reality TV star. You know, I've held back, as I've said, for a long time, for years on my channel, from constantly talking about how much I can't stand Trump. I've tried to be reasonable. And if my making one video that's very negative against Trump is just too much for you. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Just saying.